Assalamualaikum and welcome to our segment on Surah Yunus. Inshallah, today we will cover the third ruku of Surah Yunus, verses 21 to 30. May Allah grant us the ability to understand the true meanings of the Quran by the grace of His Prophet Muhammad. Amin. With this dua, let's begin the third ruku of Surah Yunus. Verse 21. And when we give mankind a taste of mercy after adversity has touched them, at once they strategize against our signs. Say, Allah is swifter in strategy. Indeed, our messengers record that which you strategize. In this verse, Allah is reminding us that when a hardship arrives, we turn towards Allah, and when we get the slightest break, we quickly forget that it was because of Allah's mercy we were provided ease. Instead, we get busy in strategizing the cause of misfortune or hardship, which is not in line with Allah's laws. According to Allah's law, He does not do wrong to anyone. It is us. We do wrong on ourselves. As mentioned in Surah Yunus, in verse 44, where it says, Indeed, Allah does not wrong the people at all, but it is a people who are wronging themselves. Allah is reminding us that his planning or strategy is more swift than ours, and everything is being recorded, and we will be accountable for what we thought, said, and did. Let's go on to verse 22. أَنَّهُمْ <laughs> It is he who enables you to travel on land and sea until when you are in ships and they sail with them by a wind that is good and they rejoice therein, comes to it a wind that is stormy and comes to them the waves from every place, and they expect to be engulfed. They call Allah, sincere to him in deen. If you should save us from this, we will surely be among the thankful. Here we see the word jarena, which means sail, something that lasts or continues for an indefinite period. We also see the word asifun, which means stormy. In this verse, more detail is given as to the attributes of mankind. We are being reminded that it is Allah who gives us all the abilities and resources to carry on with our lives. And life is full of ups and downs. Just when we think everything is going smoothly, we are faced with difficulties every now and then. And when it seems like we can't overcome them, we turn to Allah to help provide us with relief, as we should, because He is the one to rely on everything. Being grateful is the key in this verse. We should always be grateful. Let's move on to verse 23. an <laughs> Tamalun. 
But when he saves them, at once they rebel upon the earth without right. O mankind, your rebellion is only against your souls, the enjoyment of worldly life. Then to us is your return, and we will inform you of what you used to do. This verse is a continuation of the previous one. When we ask Allah for relief and he relieves us, we quickly rebel. Instead of continuing to rely on Allah and being grateful by doing what we are commanded to by him, we go back to enjoying this temporarily worldly life by fulfilling our own selfish desires and doing as we please. And again, we are being reminded here that when we meet our Lord, we will be accountable for what we did. Let's move on to verse 24. إِنَّمَا مَسَلُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَا إِنْ أَنزَلْنَهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْتَلَتَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْدِ مِمَّا يَقُلُ النَّاسُ وَالْأَنْعَامِ حَتَى إِذَا أَخَازَتِ الْأَرْدُ زُخْرُفَهَا وَزَيَّنَتْ وَزَنَّا أَحْلُهَا أَنَّهُمْ قَادِرُونَ عَلَيْهَا أَتَاحَا أَمْرُنَا لَيْلًا أَوْ نَحَارًا فَجَاءَلْنَاهَا حَسِيدًا كَاءً لَمْ تَغْنَا بِالْأَمْسِ كَذَلِكَ نُفَسِّلُ الْأَيَاتِ لَقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ The example of the worldly life is like water which we have sent down from the sky that the organisms of the earth absorb from which men and cattle eat. Until when the earth has taken on its adornment and is beautified, and its people suppose that they have measures over it, there comes to it our command, by night or by day, and we make it as a harvest, as if it had not flourished yesterday. Thus do we explain in detail the signs for a people who give thought. Nebatu means organisms, and other entities that experience continuous growth on earth. This verse describes what this temporary worldly life is like. Allah sends down his mercy as water from the sky, from which the earth flourishes and provides resources to its creatures. So we consume and enjoy, to the point where we start to think that we have control over all the resources provided to us, but then disaster strikes in the form of droughts, storms, and floods that wipe out our resources for us, and we are left with nothing. Just as Allah has given us everything, he can take it away. And just as we are born in this life, we will die and return back to the one who created us. This temporary life will disappear, and the hereafter will be our abode. Allah explains his signs in detail for the people to reflect upon them. Let's go on to verses 25 and 26. And Allah calls to the home of peace and guides whom wills to a straight path. لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُ husna. وَزِيَادَةٌ وَلَا يَرْحَقُّ وُجُوهَهُمْ كَتَرٌ وَلَا زِلَّةٌ أُولَئِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ For those who have done good is the best and more. No darkness will cover their faces, nor humiliation. Those are companions of paradise. They will abide therein eternally. Those who sincerely want Allah's guidance will get it, and those who act upon Allah's guidance will get to live a life of peace and tranquility, and the people they associate with will be like them also, so they will never be in a situation of unhappiness or disgrace. Allah guides and rewards those who do good. This is also mentioned in Surah Maryam in verse 76. Let's go on to verse 27. وَالَّذِينَ كَسَبُسْ سَيِّئَاتِ جَزَاءُ سَيِّئَاتٍ بِمِثْلِهِ وَتَرْحَاكُهُمْ زِلَّةٍ مَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ آسِمٍ كَأَنَّمَا أُخْشِيَتْ 
وجوههم كتاء من الليل مظلما اولئك اصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون and they who have earned evil deeds the recompense of an evil deed is its equivalent and humiliation will cover them they will not have from allah any protector it will be as if their faces are covered with pieces of the night's darkness those are the companions of the fire they will abide therein eternally in this verse it describes what will happen to those who do evil deeds whatever evil they did will be thrown back at them their life will be filled with sadness and despair and they will be surrounded by other people in a similar state they will never be happy or at peace as mentioned in surah al-hashr in verse 20 where it says not equal are the companions of the fire and the companions of paradise the companions of paradise they are the achievers let's go on to verses 28 and 29 wa yawma nahshurhum jami'an thumma naqulu lil ladhina ashraku makanakum antum wa shuraka'ukum fazayyalna bainahum wa qala shuraka'uhum ma kuntum iya iyana ta'budu and the day we will gather them all together then we will say to those who associated partners with allah your place you and your partners then we will separate them and their partners will say you did not used to worship us فَكَافَ بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ إِنْ كُنَّا أَنْ إِبَادَتِكُمْ لَغَافِلِينَ And sufficient is Allah as a witness between us and you that we were of your worship unaware. This verse is describing the meeting with Allah at the end of this temporary life. Those who denied in the oneness of Allah and committed shirk associated partners with Allah they will be separated from them and questioned but those same partners will testify against them to defend themselves there won't be anyone to intercede on their behalf or help them and this is mentioned throughout the Quran it is also stated in surah al-baqarah in verse 48 let's go on to verse 30 هُنَالِكَ تَبْلُو كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا أَسْلَفَتْ وَرُدُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ لَاهِي مَوْلَاهُمُ الْحَقِّ وَدَلَّ عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَفْتَرُونَ There every nafs every nafs will uncover for what it did previously and they will be returned to Allah their master in reality and lost from them is whatever they used to invent In this verse we see the word tablu which means uncover this word is generally translated as a test or trial but the root of this word the meaning is the act of uncovering evaluating or exploring one's actual capabilities a method to assess to what degree one's skills have been honed and improved When the time comes to account for their deeds everyone will be evaluated and held responsible for what they did for those who denied in the meeting with Allah they will have lost whatever they worshiped and will be recompensed for what they did This concludes our segment on Ruku 3 of Surah Yunus Let's briefly go over some points We will be informed of what we did So be mindful of your actions. Be grateful no matter what happens in life and remind yourself that it could have been worse. This is the formula to get more. The Quran invites us to reflect upon Allah's signs all around us. People, animals, plants, the solar system. These are all signs of Allah. Allah wants us to be on siratul mustaqim and live in peace. Do not be unaware of returning to Allah and do not invent lies about him. 
we will be recompensed for what we have acquired through our actions. May Allah grant us the ability to understand the Holy Quran and its true meanings in light of the life and guidance of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Amin. Thank you for joining us for this segment. Until next time. Sadaqallahul Aliyul Ladeen. Allah speaks the truth, the exalted, the great. Sallallahu ta'ala ala habibihi Muhammadiyun wa alihi wa sallam.